Rocky Patel four string cigar box guitar by Blues Boy Jag. It's a red oak neck. It's a close up of it. That's a humbucker pickup in there. I've had requests for humbucker pickups as opposed to a single coil. Single coil pickups have a slightly different tone than a humbucker. And so to accommodate my customers, I have made a guitar with a humbucker pickup in it. And this is what it sounds like. So you can see a humbucker pickup has a little bit of a different tone. Uh, of course, depends on the guitar, depends on the amp, depends on the strings, depends on the player, depends on a lot of things. But some people prefer a slightly more mid, more mid rangey more bassy tone. Maybe uh, a lot of people say that the humbucker has that tone. Again, depends on your setup. Uh, a lot of people swear by humbuckers for slide guitar because they have more of a mid-rangey to bassy tone. Uh, on the other hand, a lot of people swear by a single coil Strat style pickup. So it's all in the ear of the beholder. Uh, there are there are tons of different styles of guitars that are out there and over the years people have come to rely on a certain sound and a certain style. So in order to accommodate those customers, this is a humbucker pickup. The rest of my cigar box guitar, this particular model is just like all my other ones. I've been making these for about seven years now. I have a bolt for a bridge on the end, keeping with the old school tradition. Got an eye, eye screw here for your uh, strap and another one up here. And basically that goes back to the old days. It's what they used to use, so it kind of keeps that tradition going. I sign and number all of my guitars on the back of the neck there. These are regular wire frets you'd find on any store-bought guitar like a Fender Strat, uh, Gretsch, etc. And uh, these are all custom cut custom uh, shaped neck, rounded corners on the back, fret markers on the side, fret markers on the front of the neck there, and a bolt here for the nut, keeping with the old school tradition of when people used to make their own cigar box guitars when they couldn't afford to buy one. Cigar box guitars go back, give or take a hundred years, and volume tone, uh, volume control there, no tone control, just basic volume. Four string cigar box guitar. Now I tune these to A, open A, which is A, E, another A, and a C sharp. I use the fifth, fourth, third, and second strings of a regular guitar set of strings. You can use any electric guitar strings that you that you prefer, any brand, any uh, size. You can use a light, extra light, heavy, extra heavy, doesn't matter. Any, any, any brand electric guitar strings work just fine on my cigar box guitars. And I happen to tune these up to A. A lot of them I tune to G due to uh, customer demand. Customer, customers uh, prefer it to be tuned open. Now you don't have to tune it open. I've said this a million and a half times. You can tune it however you want. You can tune them all to A if you want. You can tune them all to G, you can tune it to F chord, or E chord, you can put your 6th, 5th, 4th, and 3rd strings on here. You don't have to put 5, 4, 3, 2, you can put 6, 5, 4, 3 on there. However you want, folks, you can do whatever. There is no set tuning, there is no specific style of strings, there is no specific size or gauge of strings. Just like any other guitar that you can buy, you can do whatever you want with it. Blues Boy Jag Cigar Box Guitar is going into my eighth year pretty soon here. 
You can find all my available cigar box guitars as well as cigar box amps, boogie board foot stompers, and you get a free slide and a free how to play cigar box guitar DVD with every cigar box guitar order. All this at jagshouse.com.